Tonight we're gonna do Fenty. I'm in my stippling brush era. This bodysuit from Abercrombie. I like how it looks in the back, like a lot. Lip balm, my wallet and keys, of course. Also gonna bring a lip gloss. Okay guys, it's Saturday night. I wanna do a whole get ready with me for a night out. I live in New York City. It's a Saturday night. I'm going to Beauty and Essex with some of my friends tonight. And it's gonna be like a good night. I just like feel it in my bones. Little girly cocktail dinner go out to the bars after, but like we're going to Beauty and Essex, which is like a really cool little trendy spot, in my opinion. Some might not like it, but I actually really enjoy it. I think the food's delicious, and it's just a good vibe for like groups. In one of my last vlogs, I think it was my weekend in my life, I was getting ready for a night out, and I was kind of trying to figure out what to wear, I was pulling different things, and you guys really liked that. They were like, I love watching you build the outfit and kind of doing all that. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a get ready with me with my makeup and then also like picking out the outfit, like packing my bag for the night, just like the whole nine yards. So let's just get started. Also, if you're new here, my name is Danielle. Hello, it's very lovely to meet you. Please subscribe down below to be notified every time I post a video, which is every Wednesday and Sunday. I also have an Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn, where I post every day on my stories all the time. So if you're missing my content, go to my Instagram. And I also have a podcast with my best friend, Brooke, called Gals on the Go. And those are new episodes every Wednesday. So, we're about to start doing our makeup. I only have about an hour, but I already showered earlier. I just got back from the day. Um, I didn't have makeup on earlier because I knew I like wanted to do it up tonight, but I did put eyebrow gel. So I'm gonna use these cold press peel pads from Naturally Serious and just honestly go over my whole face. Just start over, you know? I was outside, lots of things on my face. So I'm just gonna kind of break up the gel just so I have a, a clean canvas, if you will. And I'll brush my teeth too. Dental health era. <sighs> and obviously I'll like take you guys out on the night with me. I meant to say that, you know, a little vlog too. And your little dog too. <laughs> Welcome to the glam room, here we are. My closet's a little bit of a mess because my friends came over and raided my closet. It was really fun, I was like styling them and I get, can't wait to see their outfits tonight because I helped them pick it out. But now there's like clothes everywhere and I and my makeup is spread out, but it's so lovely. I've always, this is my first time ever having like a vanity like this. I mean, when I was younger, I would like, you know, double my desk as a vanity. Cool for me to have like the lights, you know, and do my makeup. So for the makeup, I don't have a spray tan, I don't have self tan. I decided to give my skin a little bit of a break. Um, because I was getting spray tans a lot back to back for our Gals in the Go live shows. First, I love, I need to get another one, the Ella Luz Beauty Oil. This stuff is, oh, first hand sanitizer. Ella Luz Beauty Oil, it looks so good under makeup. It gives it this beautiful, glowy look. I don't use primer really anymore. Sometimes I do. I think primer can work. But from learning from other makeup artists, it seems like using, you know, moisturizer or, you know, oil, stuff like that is the same thing as primer. All right, and then I'm gonna do a little eye cream. This is the First Aid Beauty eye cream and it's like brightening, which I really like. Pretty much all the products I own are because of Makeup XKA or cam.artistry on Instagram. Both of my friends who are makeup artists, I get all of my product recs from them. And I, I find some of my own stuff, but both of these things Kelly told me to get. Okay, foundation. I don't know about you guys, but like I switch off foundations. Like I just love trying new foundations. The two foundations I've been liking right now, Patrick Ta, his new cream foundation. I just love how easy it is to apply. I just take this brush and I brush it on. Back. I forgot that I need to do my brows, obviously. The way I've been doing my brows is the Anastasia Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. This is if I want like snatched brows. I take one of these little spoolies here, put a little bit on, rub it on my hands so there's not like too much product. And then we just, br I brush them up. I like like kind of like the semi laminated look. I brush them up and then out. So I feel like it really opens up your eyes and your face. I'm acting like I'm some makeup pro. No, I'm just showing you guys what I do. Cause it's fun to talk about beauty and fashion and just girly fun things. Why does this side look so dark on camera? Guys, I swear to you, in person they look normal. Now foundation. Tonight we're gonna do Fenty. Gonna do a little Fenty Fenty. Stippling brush here. This is the Fenty foundation. I think she only has one. 
in my stippling brush era, not actually, I still use beauty blenders, but sometimes I don't feel like going to wet my beauty blender, so I literally use a brush instead because I am so lazy sometimes about the weirdest things. Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. It's not a concealer, it's a brightener, but it does have like some tint in it, obviously, and it really does brighten up your under eye. Here, I'm going to use a dry beauty blender. People are quaking, but like look how much it brightens your under eyes. Um, okay, under eye concealer. Recently, I, I used to use this all the time if you've been watching my vlogs for a while. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I just love the sponge, and I just love doing my little triangle. It brightens up so much. I, like, forgot about it, and I was like, why am I not still using this? Before I put on any powders, I want to do some creams. So, um, I've been using this Fenty Beauty Match Sticks. Do not know if I'm doing this right, but I do the sides of my nose as well. And then I take my stippling, the different angled stippling brush, and I blend out. So yeah, we're going to this place called Beauty and Essex tonight. It's really cool. It's a speakeasy, so it looks like a pawn shop from the outside. It's in the Lower East Side. It's so fun. And then you walk through the pawn shop, and it's like a huge restaurant, and everything's like shareable. I've been there for brunch as well. I think their dinner is amazing, though. Um... They have these grilled cheese bites. They come in a little a little grilled cheese in a spoon with tomato soup, and it's like all one bite. And my friends who are visiting right now, they have been dreaming of this since they were here last time. Like, and I've been dreaming. I mean, I haven't had it since. It's They're literally so good. Like, I can't even. They're so fire flames. It's unreal. Um, and I remember their drinks being good and stuff like that. So overall, going to be good. I'm using a little bit of this. Chanel cream bronzer over top. I want to be bronze. Ryan and some of his friends may meet up with us. Katie Bellotti said for, for me to keep her updated where she is. My friend Morgan may join. I don't really know. The thing with that is I'm always like, once I start drinking a little bit, I forget who I told I'll tell, you know? And the Virgo in me is like, who do I need to tell? Where are we going? Whatever. And I feel like half the time when people tell you like, oh yeah, let me know. They don't really mean it, but I take it to heart. I'm like, I will let you know. Okay, we're leaving the restaurant now. Like, this is where we're going crazy. I just tried the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand and I was like, let's see like what the vibes are. It's good. It's good. Especially this Pillow Talk color. I'm just gonna do two dots to start. It actually blends quite lovely, which I like. It's kind of like a mauvey pink, like a dusty pink. If you watch this far, I'll tell you what I did today. I went to the Museum of Sex <laughs> for the third time. You guys would think I'm some, I don't know. It, it was like supposed to rain today, so we like got tickets. And it ended up raining, but it was so fun. Like, and it's actually lovely because they changed some exhibits, so things were actually different for me, which is always really exciting. Cause I like to take. I I'm a creature of habit. If I know some place is fun and I have a friend visiting, like I want to take them there. And it honestly just like there was nothing else we wanted to do. I'm using some Mac powder to like set in certain areas, but we had so much fun. We had a really nice day actually. Actually, I had a whole day today. This morning, Ryan and I went to Aide Ancient Baths in Tribeca. My dad got it for us for Christmas. <laughs> um, and so we got to do the ancient baths and like the hot tubs, the cold plunges, everything. It's so beautiful. Look up photos. It's gorgeous. And then you get a massage after. We got a couple's massage. I've never gotten a couple's massage before actually, which was really funny. Ryan's never gotten a massage, period. Yes, you heard that right. He's literally never gotten a massage. I'm using some of this Jouer blush to kind of just go over top. Oh, shouldn't have used this brush, but now I have to even it out. This brush is not it for, that's for cream blush. Oops. Well, here we are. We're doing this together. And then I came back, I chilled for a little bit, met up with my friends, and we went and got drinks. I don't always day drink, um, but I just had one. I had an Aperol spritz at Sarah and the Italy and Flatiron. Next step, we're gonna use the Fenty Beauty Hustla Baby Highlight. Yeah, so that was that. And then from there, um, my friend Isabella had been wanting to try, and I've been wanting to try too, this, I'm just doing some eyeshadow primer, this sandwich shop called Alan Tinko Vaneo. Um, I'm definitely not saying that right. They have one in Soho, which is the one we went to, like Greenwich Village more so. And then one in Hell's Kitchen, I think. And then the other two are in Milan in Venice, Italy. So that's when you know it's good. And Brooke had told me about it a while ago and I wanted to go. And then Isabella brought it up today. So we went and got some sandwiches. They're literally these huge things of focaccia. I got the one, I got the summer and it has prosciutto, tomato, mozzarella, and basil. I have another half in my fridge right now because it was like huge. We couldn't finish it. 
And so obviously when I get home tonight, that's what I'm eating. For eyes, what have I been doing for eyes? Eyes stress me out, honestly. Like I hate putting on eye makeup. That's why I like to get my makeup done sometimes. I'm just gonna take this brush and do get some of this bronzer from the Charlotte Tilbury palette and just do like a light base. And then I've been into using like dark brown eyeshadow as like a liner, just to add a little bit more of a sultry look. I've heard you're not supposed to blow on makeup, but why? Because if I don't, I get eyeshadow all over my skin after I've already done my makeup. Do you ever have those days where you're like, well, guess I'm doing a wing. If it starts to like wing out a little, you're like, okay. Then, then the challenge is trying to match it with the other eye. And then what I'll do, this is so funny that I'm like doing a makeup throw. And I will go back to the bronzer and just kind of pull that winged shadow just together so it blends a little bit more. But yeah, nothing crazy. Sometimes I'll just do the bronze my lids, no darker um, eyeshadows liner, but I've been really liking doing this. And then to top it all off for my last trick, <laughs> this is the MAC eyeshadow in Clink Clink. It's a sparkler eyeshadow. Um, I got it like during the holiday times, but I'm sure they have something similar. It's like a sparkling one and I'll take this flat brush and I'll put it in my tear duct. I love an inner corner highlight. I mean, I don't, I really don't know who doesn't, but yeah, love it. I feel like I still need a little more powder. I'm a little too glowy here. So then before I do mascara, I love this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. It's not a setting spray per se, but I feel like it kind of melts all of my makeup together, if that makes sense. The best part about it, it smells so good. Started curling my eyelashes again because I find that it really does help for the mascara application. My secret, I am someone with mascara transfers super fast on me, like to my lower lashes. So this Lancome CILS Booster, whatever, it's like lash primer. L'Oreal has a very similar one um, that I also really like. This is just the one that I have right now. And not everyone needs to do this, but I definitely do. I've found it helps a lot just to prime my lashes before I put on the mascara and it helps my mascara not transfer as much throughout the night because I really hate that. Like it doesn't bother me on other people, but I, I don't know. I just don't like when it happens to me. I mean, I don't think anyone likes it when it happens to them, but I feel like it's so frequent. So I'm like always trying to combat it. I have been loving the L'Oreal telescopic mascara i recently got the waterproof version so i'm gonna wear that since i'll be out all night you know maybe i'll be a little sweaty and i really don't find it's hard to take off like maybe that's just me but i just love this wand it really lifts your lashes as for lips i need to sharpen my lip liners i don't think i have any good ones right now but this is the makeup and i'm gonna use this elf lipstick in the color dirty talk a nice pinky color and then obviously we'll do some fenty lip gloss over top just to give it all it needs cute and then oh wait i'm gonna have to wash my hands but for now some hand sanitizer and that is my makeup hopefully you guys enjoyed that enjoyed getting ready hopefully we're getting ready together Okay, it's time to get dressed. I just got these Abercrombie Curve Love pants. I wish so bad I knew about these like as soon as they came out. I'm a size 28 or a six and I am 5'3". So a lot of pants, I either have to like cut them, get them hemmed, whatever. Um, but they have, a lot of brands have this, you know, extra short, short, petite, or like, regular tall you know i found the perfect match these are amazing because i have like a smaller waist but then like bigger butt and thighs and it's always so far f hard to find pants especially like leather pants i feel like they don't like have a lot of stretch i mean these are faux leather um so these are from the abercrombie curve love um collection and look at these like stretchy i try i got them last night and i tried them on today on tiktok and i was like holy shit i wore the jeans earlier today they looked so good i'm like shook like i need to literally buy everything from their line because it actually fit my waist because usually i'll have to get like a bigger size so it fits here but then my waist is super big so i have to wear a belt or like get a hem or um take it in these something about them the abercrombie curve love line does what it needs to so these are perfect length everything so I'm, i definitely want to wear my new straight leg leather pants pulled two tops so we'll see i'm not feeling like super funky tonight well this is going to be kind of funky um, it's this black blazer top, but like you like, you know, you wear it. It's not like I would wear something underneath and then it's open in the back. The thing is, I'm gonna have to wear another jacket with this obviously, which is fine. But like, I'm curious to see how it looks. Cause like, I don't know, we'll see. 
But I also just got this bodysuit from Abercrombie. Just like that typical cut, but I already tried it on. It looks so good on as well. Obviously a little bit warmer, but I'm gonna wear a jacket with it too either way. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm gonna try on both and we're gonna see but I love this, but also it's like Saturday night. Like, do I want to like, but I guess if I wore this, I'll like add jewelry. So I'm going to try it on. We're going to figure it out. Okay. Here is option one. The bodysuit's definitely very flattering. It's not the best lighting in here, but obviously it's like the leather and then the regular black. Um, you know, it's like a very flattering, just like easy moment. I feel like this is more of a comedy seller outfit. Not like, I mean, it is Saturday night out vibes, but also... I don't know, like I could add these layered necklaces to make it more of a thing. Both of these are from Orium Collective. And that, that definitely like adds. But does it add enough, my friends? That is the question of the hour. So, and I, I like to show a little midriff sometimes. So we're gonna try this. Clearly we can tell which one I'm leaning towards. Okay. I like how it looks in the back, like, a lot. The front, I just don't know. And I want to love it. Something's just off. Like, the blacks are different. Oh my god, but I love how it looks in the back. Okay, let's pretend I have heels on. Maybe I should put on some shoes. I should probably put on some shoes because I am wearing these pants. Like, I'm not letting myself not wear these pants. So, um, I just like to see my outfit when I have more height. These have been my going out shoes as of late. I also need to test if I dance because I like to dance. The bars we talked about going to are like not this outfit vibe. We might have to try another shirt. We might, but that's okay. I also probably could do, well, I need to blend to thy neck, my bronzer. Um, my favorite thing to do, take this huge brush from Sigma Take my blush, highlight, bronzer all together and put it on my chest. Okay, I got the boots on. It's growing on me now that I added some bronzer here. I feel like silver jewelry is definitely needed. Like, should I add a belt? Here's with the shoes. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I, okay, I just think silver can't happen because I don't have the right accessories. I have this little black YSL skinny belt that could like help break up the blacks maybe because it has the gold. It does like a little something, but I don't know if it does the something I want it to. You guys are probably like, oh my God, big on an outfit already. But that's why this is fun. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, wait. So I also, if I wear this, I'd have to wear another jacket over it, which is kind of annoying. I forgot I have this, which I've actually never worn. It's like a structured leather jacket. It looks like it's similar leather colors. If I did like, like a simple black bralette vibe like this, you know, like I wear this all the time over this with this, make it look like it's kind of like a set. All right, BRB. All right. This top is from Meshki, by the way. I wear it a lot. It's a really good layering piece. And then this would be like my only jacket of the night. Let's go to the full length mirror. It's a whole process, you guys know. Okay, obviously like this one better. I like it better, but I, <laughs> I'm being so difficult. But I also, I'm not, I don't like the way it, it, like if I walk and it's just like this. You know, you gotta think about it. Like, okay, let's say I'm dancing at the club. Oh, hey. Like, I don't know. All right, guys, I did some walking. I did some dancing. I did some more bronzing in my chest. I think we're gonna do this tonight because it's nice that I don't have to wear another jacket, but it's not too heavy that once I'm in somewhere that it's too heavy. I need to get some more silver earrings because the only ones I have are like these rhinestone ones that I literally got at like Dillard's or something. They're like my New Year's Eve earrings and then now this too, but I think they're so pretty. I definitely need to get going here, but we have to pack my going out bag. Um, it's lovely that my hair was already done. That was, I just have to like brush it probably. I wish I had like one necklace I could just wear, but. As for rings, I started buying more rings. I wanna wear more rings. I used to wear rings all the time and then I stopped. I just got from this brand, Senia. I bought this, which it actually is two tone. It has gold and silver. So one goes on your pointer and then one 
goes on your ring finger. And look how cute it looks. I hope I don't like catch it on anything tonight. Tonight might be stupid actually to wear it, but I always do that where I buy things and then I'm like, oh, I shouldn't wear it tonight. And then it's like, okay, well just, you gotta wear it. I think I like this outfit. It's warming up to me. I feel cute. I have this bag from Rebecca Minkoff. I definitely like shoulder bags on these types of nights so it can be hands-free, but I also wore this the other night, but I really like this one from Zara. So I have these two. Why is everything a hard decision right now? I feel like I'm like being watched. I'm like, oh my God. All right, we're gonna do this. Tried and true. Turn off shop in here. It's time to pack the bag. All right, what's going in my bag? Lip balm, Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, my wallet and keys, of course. My new thing I've been doing is taking, I've only done it one other time, um, Mio to the bar. This is the berry pomegranate flavor. I took the blueberry lemonade the other night, order a vodka soda at the bar, and then put like a drop, like a little squeeze of this in it. Tastes so much better than a vodka soda lime. Also gonna bring a lip gloss. Um, I think that's really it, and then my phone. It's my favorite brush right now, Tangle Teaser. I think I, yeah, I just got it on Amazon. I usually am a wet brush girly, but I really love this, especially if I'm pulling my hair back. I love like the super small bristles and it makes your hair look so soft and it feels soft too. For perfume, this is my going out scent, I don't know why. Byredo Rose of No Man's Land. It used to be Rose Noir from Byredo, but they don't sell it anymore. So Rose of No Man's Land is the closest to it. It's just like a dark rosy scent, it's like sultry. I should probably put more deodorant on too. That would benefit me and the people around me, really. What else might I do before I leave? I feel like I'm like right on time, like if I leave right now. Oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm starting a new pack of birth control, so I should take it tonight because I don't wanna mess it up. Like if I literally miss one day, it's all weird. Down the hatch. All right, fam. Here is the final look all together. I think it's pretty good. It's not what I thought I was gonna be wearing tonight, but I'm really happy with it because I don't have to wear another jacket. I like the boxiness. I think I like it better if I hold it open like this, but yeah, I'm gonna vlog the best I can. Oh, also pro tip, if you do go to Beauty and Essex for dinner, you gotta take pictures in the bathroom. It's just, it's a huge bathroom, it's the vibe. I'm gonna call an Uber there because I'm running late and I'm gonna meet them there and I will try to vlog throughout the night. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this semi, definitely actually not semi, this chaotic get ready with me for a night out. Let me know if you guys want another one because this was fun and I felt like I was getting ready with my besties, so. Hi. Yes, hi, thank you. Matches. So I have another matchbook for my collection. We are now attempting to go to Kind Regards. We're in Lower East Side. Fun night so far. Getting us a taxi. Carrie Bradshaw check. 
<laughs> Kind Regards is so fun and I, the light's not on and I forgot how fun it is. But we're leaving to go to Red Lion because we have people there that we know and love. <laughs> And there's like a cover band and it's good vibes. Yeah. Little Miley Cyrus party in the USA. Great, Great. They do country sometimes. <laughs> if they're if you if they hear y'all's accent, they'll do some country. Yeah, there's a damn country. Oh, I got the course. <laughs>